guys, welcome back. I decided to do this video after watching that clip on Real Housewives of Orange County. It was sent to me by a friend of mine, and um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, one of the housewives actually went and she got the O-Shot, and so she was talking about the O-Shot. And since then, we've got a flood of phone calls coming in. Um, we're having all these ladies calling in wondering what the O-Shot is, you know, does that mean it's also a G spot? Um, how does this procedure be performed and does it work? So I thought, you know what, I need to just do a little video for you guys and kind of talk about it. That way you know what's going on. So before I get into it, I'm going to go ahead and attach the clip here. That way you know what I'm even talking about. So Shannon, we heard that you decided to try the O shot this season. Yes. I just want to talk to you about what we're doing with the O shot. What it's going to do is going to heighten orgasms to really give you some oomph. Oh my God. There we go. Oh my God. That's it. Let's just wipe you up. Now I need to have sex. Does it hurt to get it? Yes, there's a needle in your vagina. Oh. Bunch of little shots in the vagina. Who wants that? I don't. Was the O shot worth it? Okay, well, the O shot apparently wears off six months after you had it done, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. I mean, I don't get it. You didn't test drive the O-Shot? No. So that was all for nothing? Well, I thought it was an interesting concept, <laughs> and I was willing to try it. Ouch! But I don't know if I necessarily need the shot. Yeah. Oh. Now you just need the right boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So now you understand what everyone's talking about. Welcome. <laughs> so first things first, um, what I want to talk about is what is an O-Shot, right? So O-Shot is using your PRP, platelet-rich plasma. So here's how the whole appointment comes. You come into the clinic, I meet with you, sit down with you, kind of go over what your goals are, because here's the thing, everyone's goals are a little bit different. And I really want to make sure that you're a good candidate for the O-Shot. Who is a good candidate? Somebody who, you know, maybe is looking for increased sensitivity of their orgasms, increased sensitivity of their clit, increased sensitivity of their G-spot. Maybe they're looking for some urinary incontinence resolution. Um, I'll have ladies say, oh, I'm, you know, wetting my pants when I sneeze or I cough or when I'm running or jumping on the trampoline with my kids. Um, so all those things get helped by the O-Shot. What it does not do is, you know, if I have, let's say, a 70-year-old lady call and she has a prolapsed uterus, yes, I did have a 70-year-old patient call who has a prolapsed uterus, and she was asking for an O-Shot. An O-Shot is not going to help that. She needs surgery. Or, um, you know, maybe somebody who's had, um, let's say, like a bladder suspension or a bladder lift, that's an actual surgery that they had performed. Um, Doing the O-Shot, it's going to increase the sensitivity. It's going to help rebuild and remodel collagen. But, you know, again, this isn't surgery. That's not what this is for. So I just want everybody to be on the same page before we actually get started. Increase sensitivity, okay? Increased orgasms. Um, helping with urinary incontinence. Uh, Austin, your battery is low. Oh, let me see. <laughs> Okay, we got that. So does that mean that I can finish? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do I? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Are you gonna, are you gonna cut that part? No. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> oh geez. Anyways, um, so let's just talk about the appointments. You guys come in. We sit down. I'm gonna ask you about what medications you're on, what birth control you're on, because hormones play a role as well as obviously, um, you know, vaginal laxity, lubrication, things like that. So I kind of need to know what's going on. Then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you guys apply a numbing cream. And it's a lidocaine, benzocaine, lidocaine, tetracaine um, numbing cream. And I'll show you where to place it. From there, I'm going to draw your blood. I'm going to spin it in a centrifuge. And I'm going to separate uh, your platelet-rich plasma from your red blood cells. Again, this should look like liquid gold, okay? 
So from there, what I like to do is I'll bring you into my room and I always perform a shockwave therapy. Again, it's not shockwave, it's sound wave technology, so we call it the Novo Wave. The reason why I do this is because I'm trying to create blood flow into that area and I'm also creating what's called micro trauma using the Novo Wave treatment. So Novo Wave, just so you guys understand, because a lot of you that are watching this clip don't really know what this is or that we do this in the office, but it's sound wave technology. And what sound waves do is they create this, what's called a cavitation. So it's like a little water droplet underneath the cellular level. And that water droplet is kind of like your micro damage. So it's telling your body, hey, there's some, been some damage down here. I need you to bring some fibroblasts down. I need you to recreate this tissue, grow new tissue. And with new tissue comes arteries, veins, and nerves. Arteries and veins is blood flow, nerves is sensation. So the whole process takes about three to four weeks. That's the other thing I want you guys to be completely understanding is that this is three to four weeks before you see anything at all. So like I had a lady who came in here, it was like a Thursday or Friday, and she's like, yeah, I have a, my boyfriend's coming into town, so I was getting the O shots, so I can get ready for him. No, 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 this isn't going to work like that. That's not what this is about, okay? So I'll bring them into the room, and I'll give them a lidocaine block. So think of it like this. When you go to the dentist, they'll put a little numbing agent, like a cream, right on a little Q-tip on your gum. And they'll let it sit for a couple minutes, and then they'll do the shot, which is the lidocaine block. So that's kind of what I do here um, for the O-shot, okay? So I'm going to do your lidocaine block, and it takes about 15, 20 minutes for it to um, really start to kick in. So in that meantime, now I'm going to use the shockwave therapy. Shockwave therapy, I'm creating some blood flow, a little micro trauma. That way, when I inject the PRP, your body is really kind of focusing on repairing and regenerating itself. So after the shockwave, which takes about, you know, 15, 20 minutes, now the numbing cream has set in. So what I'm going to do now is inject the PRP. And I do, I have three different syringes that I'm using. The first one is going to be for the clitoris, okay? And what I want you guys to remember, and you know, I think what I'll do is I'll, um, I'm going to put up a little image after this. That way you can take a look at it. But I want you to remember that our clitoris is basically like the penis. The clitoris is like the head of the penis. It's the glands, okay? And then you have little tissue that comes down, kind of like the labia minora part of it, which is that smaller tissue. Think of it as like it's all connected. It's still the penis. So I'm injecting on both sides of the labia minora, which will then go into the clitoral region. I'll also inject the clitoral hood. So it'll kind of look like you've got this micro penis going on. But again, it's just, it's fluid and the fluid goes away within 24 hours. From there, I'm going to inject the G-spot. So I always get this question, does this really exist? And I'm here to tell you it does. Okay. So what I always like to do with you guys, and this may be a little bit too much information, but hey, that's what I'm here for. I give you a mirror and I'm going to show you where your G-spot is because I think it's important that you know. Um, G-spot is basically right below the urethra, but above the vaginal vault. And so again, I'm going to show a picture. That way you guys can take a look after I'm done talking. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject in three different positions because not everybody is a midline G-spotter. Some of you are left G-spotter. Some of you are right G-spotter. So I want to make sure that I'm getting the PRP into all the different locations and that I'm really kind of like infiltrating that area of the G-spot. And again, when I'm putting this fluid of PRP into tissue, what the PRP is doing is it's telling the body to come in and create brand new tissue. So it says, hey guys, there's been some damage down here. I need new tissue. So going back to what is PRP, remember when you fell, you were like eight years old, you scraped your knee, and you had a little bit of yellow pus that formed on your knee, that's your PRP. That's what formed a scab. So when your scab came off, you had fresh new pink skin underneath the scab. That's how I want you to think about this. When we're injecting the PRP, we're creating brand new tissue, okay? So if we're going to create new tissue around that urethra, you're gonna help with urinary incontinence. Makes sense, right? In the meantime, I'm helping the G-spot. I'm helping to increase the sensitivity. 
Um, from there, you know, if I have another syringe, we can discuss where, you know, I should be placing it, whether that's the clit or G-spot or, you know, something else. So I just kind of want you to understand the whole process. Is it painful? That's the biggest question I get. And I'm here to tell you that everybody is different. So I'll have patients literally laying on the bed and they're emailing or they're talking on the phone and they have no idea what's going on. They don't flinch at all. I do my thing and then they're like, oh, we're done. And then I'll have other patients who maybe they felt the clitoral part, but they didn't feel the G-spot or the other people who feel the G-spot and they don't feel the clitoral. So honestly, I don't know you know, which one you're going to feel or if you're going to feel anything until I'm actually in there. So that's hard for me to say to you guys. But um, for myself, I'll just kind of let you know this. I have had the O-Shot. I've had it twice. Um, what I also noticed from the O-Shot for me specifically is, you know, mine lasted about six months. And I do have to say, I mean, I do work out pretty religiously every day. Um, so my metabolism's a little bit higher maybe than the average person. But for the most part, what I tell you guys is the O-Shot's going to last anywhere from 6 to 12 months. Now, with my O-Shot, um, I did feel it in my clitoral region. I didn't feel it in my G-spot. But what I'll tell you is around that third to fourth week, I started noticing an increased sensitivity of my clitoris as well as my G-spot. So... I know that it works. I, I physically can feel the difference myself. And I do have patients that call me and they'll tell me that they feel the difference and that, you know, before they weren't able to have an orgasm through their G-spot and now they are. So it works, you guys. It's just a matter of, you know, is that what you need? Is that what you're looking for? You know, what is it that you're looking for? Because I'll have patients come in here and they'll say, you know, I, I'm looking to do the O-shot because I want to improve my libido. Okay, well, that's that's not the O-shot. That's not what we're here for. Libido is hormones, so we should be addressing your hormones instead. So again, I just want to make sure that what you're coming in for is what I'm treating you for. And that's, again, why we sit down and we have that conversation because I'm not about to do something and give you false hope if that's not why you came in. So that's why I kind of feel like, you know, it's important that we, that we chat. Um, you know... I'm trying to think of anything else. I do have some patients who will ask me, hey, um, I'm calling in and I see that you do the O-shot. Does that also mean that um, you can inject my G-spot? The O-shot is referencing your clitoris and your G-spot. So let's say you live in Kansas and you're watching this video and you're like, hey, you know, I, I'm interested in getting an O-shot. Um, but I really want one for my G-spot. Getting an O-shot means you're getting one for the G-spot. So it's it's all encompassing. Um, if you are looking for somebody who does the O-shot, I was trained by Dr. Reynolds himself. He's the one that um, trademarked O-shot. So what I would do is either go to his website and you can click in there, find a provider, and you'll find a provider in your area that does administer O-shots. Um, you could probably also Google as well. Um, if you have any other questions, you guys, please feel free to reach out. You can send me emails, you can text, you can call, but I really hope that this video kind of clears up some stigma behind the O-Shot, uh, G-Spot, <laughs> and some of the things that you may have seen on the Housewives of Orange County. So if you have any other questions, go ahead and click on the link below. All right. Talk to you guys later. Later.